Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really cool effect that you can do in your eyes with Photoshop. How to make them look like fire. Okay, so this requires quite a few steps, but it's a pretty straightforward tutorial. Um, I'm just going to make his eyes look like they are uh, kind of have a fire effect. And we're going to start with the pen tool and select his eye. Okay, now that we have selected, right click on your mouse and click make selection and your feather radius should be at three pixels. Now we want to duplicate the selection, so command and control J, and it just isolates our eye. Now we want to go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, press OK. Make sure it's connected only to the eye, so you press this little button right here. And we want to change our hue to something that is closer to red or orangish, wherever this may be. Up the saturation so it definitely looks more. There we go, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Now we're going to do it again, only with a different adjustment layer. Layer, new adjustment layer, photo filter. And you want to change the color to a hard red. Keep the density at 25%, that should be fine, and also make sure that it is connected only to the eye. Now we're going to do another one. Layer, adjustment layer, curves. Once again, make sure it's connected only to the eye, and we want to drop the output a little bit. Drop the blacks a little bit, bring up the lights as well. It's basically making it so the eye really stands out a little bit more. And we're going to add one more. Adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. Press OK. Drop the brightness a little bit. Oops. First of all, make sure it's always connected to the eye. And up the contrast. That's looking good. Now, we want to make sure that our uh, foreground and background colors are normal, so black and white. So, now we want to command or control click on layer 1's thumbnail, that way we can select the item, the eye itself. Now that the eye is selected, we want to create a new layer, and we want to put it on top of our selection. And make sure that it is still you still have the selection marks. Go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And press Command and Control, Alter Option, and F to change the contrast to something that works. That should be pretty good because it's got a nice little black mark in the middle of the eye. Now we're going to actually select Layer 1's thumbnail. Now with Layer 2 still selected, go to Filter, Render, Difference Clouds. And again, press Command and Control, Alter Option, and F to get different effects until you find something you like. That's pretty cool. And now we're going to change the blend mode on layer 2 to dodge. It's definitely getting there. It looks definitely a lot more fiery. Now we're going to add two more adjustment layers. We're going to layer, adjustment layer, photo filter. Press OK. And uh, change the color to blue. Make the density about 20%. And change the filter to a deep blue. And then we're gonna add another, and then we're gonna add curves again. Layer, new adjustment layer, curves. And once again, just up the lights. First of all, make sure it's connected to the eye. And drop the darks. And there you go, we have a fiery looking eye. It definitely looks like it's on fire. Kind of a futuristic kind of thing going on too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or uh, requests regarding touch-ups or enhancements for photographs with Photoshop, send me an email to requestsitmahalo.com, and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.